Hello viewers, today we're going to be taking a brief troubleshooting look at the Honeywell HW690, HW690. I want to see how easy this comes apart and uh, take a look at the controls and see if perhaps something as simple as spraying some deoxid on the mechanism will get it to work again. So I think this will come off with six screws. Potentially it's missing some screws. Looks like there might have been one up in the handle at some point. Well then again I don't see anything for it to screw into so perhaps not. It looks like there may be some tabs that we can press in to pull this off, or pull out rather to get this off. These do not appear to want to move. It almost looks like there's been some glue or something put on there. Yeah, just that one in particular does not want to move. Of course, because it's brittle, we have to be very careful and selective with what we press on. I think that was glued. That's really strange. These screws did not come out all the way. This one didn't come out. I'm pretty sure it's whoops. I'm pretty sure it's not held on to anything. In this corner it appears to be ready to come off, but nothing else does. this knob. Let's see if the knob will come off. There we go. It's ready to come off now. Nope, it's still being held on. I can't really see by what. Maybe these two screws. Two screws over here on the on the bottom here. Let's see if these will take it out. So I think the back is now free from the front.
Let's see what we have here. Well, the control panel is nowhere near ready to come apart, so we're going to have to work on that a little bit. cheese. Where did that go? Here it is. So it's possible that this potentiometer or whatever this thing is needs to be cleaned. I'm trying to see where it makes contact. Put some deoxid on there and see if that will clean it off. This board looks pretty simple at least probably could be repaired. All the components are labeled. It takes some time to go through there. But uh, I'm not sure if this is intended to come off or comes off with any ease. It's going to be very challenging to get this off because there's no... Unless this can, can come off. I don't know if that, the center of that comes off. There's no way to put the pole around there. Let's see here, where's the... I can't tell if this is a center cap and it's supposed to come off. Yeah, it is. Let's see what's below there. Ah, oh, my favorite! One of those stupid pieces of trash. Hate those things. It's one of those stupid clips. The clip of planned obsolescence. Well, I'm not sure I want to get into that tonight. Have to eventually, but not tonight. Let's just deal with the control for now. Before I do anything else, I want to put this on the meter to see what kind of draw is happening when it doesn't sound too good. And you think I'd pay more attention to where this camera is and stop whacking it with everything in sight. Alright, let's plug in. i got to move the light plug. I still haven't got a new light fixture yet because I haven't been able to find one that's not made in China. It's made in China. It's so over it. Okay, I'm going to go over to watts, and let's see, does this say how many watts it should be drawn? Where's the information at? It is rated for 0.46 amps, so it's quite efficient. Not that it matters, because if the thing works and does what it's supposed to do, it can draw as much power as it wants. I'll go over to amps, and... Turn this on. Ah, it's not on. Okay. It's drawing 0 0.47, 0 0.49. So it's pretty close to what it should be. And now it's drawing 0.36. Yeah, it's point 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36. And right here, we're back to 47. 47. So, we seem to get like a middle speed right there. Alright. So it's, it's not... Uh, not varying the power draw much at all. Spray a little bit of this in there. I guess we should probably unplug that first. All 
Okay, looks like that's dried up mostly, so let's plug this back in and see if anything has changed. I did clean this as well, so it, it was pretty dirty, and now it seems like it's working. It just seems like a crummy electronic control now. So that's high, that's point forty-seven. that's medium, that's point thirty-seven, and that's low, which is point thirty-six. So now it's just like, it's working, it's just a crummy electronic control. So let's switch it over to automatic. And now it's it's working. So because in here it's 73 degrees now. So as we call for more cooling, it seems to turn itself up. And that's where it starts to change. That's right in between 65 and 85, so and then it goes down even more. It's kind of working inversely as I was expected to. I would think if it's hotter, the fan would run faster, and then as it gets, you know, cold, it should run slower. Unless this is. That's automatic, supposedly, and that's this is manual, so that doesn't make sense to me at all. But that I would say is working correctly now. There's high, there's medium, and then there's low. I don't like that that's still 47, because that's 47 and this is 47. So something's not quite right about that. There's a little bit of difference between these two speeds. About 0 0.03 watts. I can see maybe a few hundred RPM difference. Much rather just had a basic three speed capacitor based control. I'm trying to see how this is wired. It looks like there is only, let's see, there's one, two, three, four. It looks like there's five wires going to there. One, of course, is the capacitor lead, one is the mains lead, one is the neutral, and then one is. Reverse. I don't think it's a winding based control. The capacitor is across the blue and gray. Does, where does the gray go? Does the gray go in there? The gray does go to the motor. So gray and blue are capacitor. Uh, black, of course, is the high side. And then white is the low side. So it looks like. But then we have a red. A red gets introduced. I'm not sure what that is. 
that could be reverse maybe and a black is for I don't know it's not a, a, a winding base control I don't think um, motor is warm but it's not that hot I'm kind of interested to see does it get hot while running in that that kind of lower state because it doesn't sound too good but you know we have to remember that it, it may not sound good because it's not a capacitor control. Capacitor control is a very quiet way of adjusting the speeds. When you start adding resistance to resistors and things like that, you can get a noise. So, it does increase a little bit. very minute difference but there is a difference this is not changing at all you know, when you get down to about there it drops I don't like electronic controls. I really don't. I question how reliable any of this is going to be. If any of those resistors weren't really hot, you know, who knows. Let's just see out of curiosity, is anything heating up in there? Yeah, it is. That one component is 120 degrees already. Resistor is smoking hot. I don't know if this will give me a reading quite on that resistor, but that's hot. 112. You know, and that's over the course of what, a two or three minute test? That's going to be really hot after running for several hours. I don't like electronic controls. I really don't. If this wasn't so rare, I would just totally tear this out and replace it with a regular capacitor-based control. Wouldn't trust it running like that. I really wouldn't. It just doesn't seem reliable. It's too bad it's electronically controlled. It really stinks. Well, let's put this back together for now. I don't have time to get into the whole servicing tonight. Just more of a curiosity as to whether or not we could fix this at all. And it looks like it's working as perhaps as well as it ever did. I don't know. You know, this may never have worked that well. It's very, very possible. Let's just see where, where it changes in relation to the diagram. Yeah, it actually it is right there. Right where that bar stops. It does start to change right there.
I think this may be how it worked for out of the factory. I think it just never worked that good. It's just all the more reason why you don't take a very simple thing like a fan and put computers in it. It's just not necessary. Duh! That's not going to work. Okay, let's check it again. Let's see if it seems like it's still behaving the same way. Now that it's assembled. Seems a little bit quieter, maybe. It's a shame it's got that hum, because if it didn't, this would be almost quiet. There's not a lot of air noise at all. It's going up, but it's ever so slight. I didn't quite get that, because I would think if it was hot, it would run at full speed and then as it got colder you know it would slow down unless oh wait I get it now because we're saying let's say this was set for 85 it would be satisfied because it's not would it would that make sense Yeah, it would, because it's bringing the temperature down. So if we're, we're at 75 in here, it would be satisfied at 85. So that is working correctly. And then as we get closer to where it's supposed to be set, you know, that's probably you know, 72 or whatever's in between there as you go down. Okay, so that is working correctly. I just wasn't understanding it. Well, it works. It doesn't work well, but I tend to think it probably never did. So, we'll do another video on this to clean it up, even though it's not that dirty. But uh, I, I think for now, the electronic controls are okay.